Wizard skating has been one of the most joyful experiences of my whole life. It is so much fun and I have such great memories of learning these moves. So here are some exercises that I used to tame the lion. To perform a lion, we must get the feel of transitioning our pressure from the heel to the toe, from the toe to the heel, depending on whether we're going forward or backward, respectively. To learn this, we first have to understand how we use our heels to propel us forward and our toes to propel us backwards. To learn this, I suggest practicing your lemon drops and some swivels. What I really want you to feel in this exercise is the weight transfer from the heels to the toes. I'll demonstrate and explain. On the way forward, feeling it in the heels, transferring weight to the toe, and then feeling the weight in the toe there. Using that same concept, weight in the heel, weight in the toe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand kind of right in the middle of our lemon drop. Uh, I'm gonna add a slight scissor, so I'm gonna shift my weight just a little bit here just to exemplify the heel pressure and the toe pressure. And now in this position, my front foot's gonna lemon forward, my back foot's gonna lemon back with just a little twist. Okay, reset, feel it. Good, and I'm just gonna kind of stay in this position and just start to inch my way around, right? At first, maybe you can only get around about 90 degrees. Usually, if you're getting stuck, make sure you're feeling that foot that should be on the toe traveling back behind you. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a bit stronger rotation and kind of a squeezing pressure with the adductor muscles here. So I'm gonna feel like I'm coming up and squeezing my feet in. Good, and I'm gonna feel that rotation. There, perfect. So in that last step, we were using our inside edges and that heel toe pressure where have some rotation to generate a nice spin. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna use our outside edges. So I'm gonna cross one foot over, boom. Remember outside edges, my knees should be out. If I'm stand here, my knees should be outside of my feet and my pinky toe should be tipped over slightly. There's my outside edges, right? Just a little bit is fine, you got it crossing our feet, keeping them in relatively the same position. Good. The foot that's moving forward, this one, is gonna be on the heel, and the foot on the back is gonna be on the toe. So I still wanna feel that same distribution. One foot's going forward, one foot's going back. Keep that clear in your mind. And then we're gonna try and just inch our way around a little bit, good. And then as it's feeling more comfortable, same sort of move down and up with a little squeeze. And our goal here is just to first get 90, 90, 90, <laughs> and then 180. And then of course, see if we can get all the way around 360 here. <laughs> Made it around, okay. We can use those basic exercises now to start learning our lions. Those will be the entries, and we will make the transition from there. As I do this exercise, I'm gonna set up the same way, but once my foot starts to carve around, I'm gonna allow my body to turn, and I'm gonna switch edges. That's gonna be the move. You want to make sure you feel like you're always falling towards that cone as you make that transition. There we go. One more look, maybe a few more, who knows. Wind it up. Good, so when you're practicing this, uh, there's a lot going on, right? We're generating that rotation. I'm falling to that outside edge as I lift this foot up and then keeping that balance falling in towards the cone. But really, I'm not thinking too much about all those details. I'm just getting to here, finding my weight on top of it, and then picking up this back foot. And as that foot picks up, my edge switches, and I can start to make that rotation. 
It doesn't look like much in this exercise, but the swing leg is truly driving the whole transition. I set up with my swivel and then initiate the transition by swinging my free leg. I'm gonna set up the same weight, I'm gonna rotate the same way, but now this foot that's traveling backwards is gonna make the three turn from the inside to the outside leg. And I find when I do this one, I don't end up spinning around much, right? If I wind up into it, I end up doing like a double three turn. So we'll talk about that because that's something you can learn quite quickly from this position. But what I really want to do is just feel like I'm winding up and then getting to that outside edge on that left foot. So it feels the same as far as the setup goes here. That's the move. And that's it. Imagine how easy that is. Here, shifting weight to the outside as I wind up and picking up the other foot. There. I do find that my uh, swing leg wants to stay behind me. If it gets in front, I'm gonna keep rotating, which is okay. Maybe let's try that. Let's try bringing that leg around a bit more and see what happens. So I ended up adding an extra rotation just with that swing leg. Interesting, okay. Remember my weight distribution? I'm gonna feel the weight in the heel on this front foot. I'm gonna wind up into it. And then my back foot is gonna unwind me into my three turn. Good. On the heel again. I just wanna remind us that we are transitioning from forward to go. back in this case. Now, so the pressure goes from the heel to the toe in the action leg. To but it is most helpful again to focus on the setup and using the swing leg. As my swing leg gets here and then moves this way, you know, that's what I'm focusing on. But what really happens is that action, that shift there, is being driven through this foot attached to the floor, right? This foot is going from the outside, pushing to the inside. So, and that's what helps generate the turn here, is that action there. So watch real closely here and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Now, let's rewind it. So now we're gonna go the other direction. So now, thinking about this back leg, moving from the outside to the inside edge as I rotate. There we go. And all that momentum energy that I'm generating to make me roll away comes from, at least this is what it feels like, it feels like it's coming from changing that edge. And that changing the edge comes from the swing leg, not from the foot on the floor in our minds at least. There you have it. Work on those setups, use the swing leg, and I think you'll surprise yourself. I hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for the support. Happy holidays, everyone. Talk to you soon. Namaste. Woo! I'm dizzy. <laughs> Too many laughs one way. Cool. Thank you for watching. What more can I say? Namaste. Oh, you see that rhyme?